I really don't know how to say this. Like, I really don't know how to say this. Should I say it? Like, should I say it? Should I really say it? Okay, I'm gonna say it. <sighs> Ahmed Didat was wrong. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Yes, I said it, people. Ahmed Didat, Dr. Ahmed Didat, the late Ahmed Didat, was wrong. He lied. He lied to us. He lied to all of us. Even Dr. Zaki Naik, right? He also lied to us. Many people, many pastors, even ourselves, we lied to ourselves by believing that the Apostle Paul, the Apostle Paul, the person we all thought wrote many of the books in the New Testament, he actually didn't write this book I'm going to talk about. There might be even more books he didn't write. Isn't this shocking to you? Isn't this amazing? I just found this out right now as I was reading my Bible. I actually came across the scripture and I said to myself, this definitely means that Paul did not write this letter in the Holy Bible. And I'm about to show you exactly what it is. But before we get started, please do me a favor. Before we go any further with this lie that we've been told, this lie we have been believing, and I'm about to share truth on it, drop a like on the video. Please subscribe to the channel if you are new. Now, without further ado, let's take a breather. Let's take a moment. Breathe in and breathe out. <sighs> let's go and let's get it. Are you ready, kids? Sir. Rocky! Yes, sir. Now, we all came to know Dr. Ahmed Didat by his most famous debates that he has had throughout the world. And in many of these debates, he was putting emphasis on Paul being the beacon of hope when it came to the religion of Christianity. He was not wrong. He was actually right. But there were certain instances when the Christians he was debating against were quoting the scriptures which were supposedly written by Paul. And he would speak against them and say that Paul never met Jesus Christ and therefore we cannot follow the New Testament, particularly the epistles written by Paul. Before we get into which scripture or which book, which letter, which epistle was not written by Paul, but many people still believe it was written by Paul, let us explain first the word epistle. What does epistle mean? An epistle literally means a letter, a missive, a communication, or a long formal letter, a dispatch, a report, as well as a bulletin, right? And this is exactly what we speak about when we talk about an epistle. And this certain epistle I'm going to tell you was not written by Paul is going to shock many of you guys because many of you guys really really did believe according to the religion of islam and many of the people who are famous in the religion of islam who have taught many people that definitely this epistle was written by paul you guys are going to be surprised that this epistle was definitely not written by paul it's even written in the bible the very same bible is written in there that paul did not write this certain epistle i'm going to tell you about in a second so which epistle am I talking about? Which chapter in the New Testament am I talking about? Which is supposedly written by Paul, but is actually not written by Paul. Who might have written this letter? Who might have written this epistle? Let's go to the Word of God. Let's go to the New Testament. Particularly, okay, here's the epistle. I'm telling you the epistle right now. It's the epistle of Romans. I know, you never thought about it, right? You thought about the other ones, but... Is Romans, one of the biggest, the most massive, the most read scriptures in the New Testament, the most read chapters in the New Testament, the epistle that is most beloved by many people is the epistle of Romans. And this is the epistle that was not written by Paul. And I'm about to prove it to you. So let's go to the word of God. Okay, so this is the last chapter of Romans. The last chapter of Romans, which is chapter 16, right? In chapter 16, we are going to be reading from verses 21 and 22. So verse 21 says, Timotheus, my work fellow. So this person who wrote this epistle had a work fellow, somebody he was working with, maybe on the epistle itself or maybe on other works that this person was doing. So Timotheus was his work fellow. Lucius and Jason, Sosipeta, my kingsman, I salute you. So he's 
giving greeting to these guys that he has worked with, the people who have seen him throughout his entire journey, right? But now let's go to verse 22, which this guy is going to tell you exactly who he is, the person who wrote the epistle of Romans or the book of Romans, not Paul, as we've heard from Ahmed Didat, as we've heard from Dr. Zaki Naik, as we've heard from many of other pastors who have been preaching Christianity. Listen to verse 22. I, Tertius, this guy's name is Tertius, right? I, Tertius, who wrote this epistle, he's telling you exactly. How did we miss this? How did everybody miss this, including Ahmed Didat? How did he miss this? All of the people who were debating Ahmed Didat, how did they miss this? All of us missed this. I mean, he proclaims that he wrote this epistle and he ends it off with, I salute you in the Lord. Which means this guy was a follower of Christ as well. This guy was a, a subscriber to the Christian religion and he was not Paul. So I went even further to try and research what does this name mean? Tertius. What does Tertius mean, right? You can see trouble in your eyes. Go deeper, Baba! And this is what I found. The name Tertius literally means this. The word Tertius is actually a Latin word. It's a Latin name. And it means the third, right? As we all know, we've spoken about the fact that the Bible was written not from a first-hand experience kind of a a book or a letter right but it was written for maybe a second experience or a third experience this guy's name tertius exactly tells you that he is a third maybe the third person who have heard of the things that paul went through and i want to even research further it says that the name also means a scribe which means this guy literally tells you he was the one who was scribing the book of romans he wrote the epistle of romans and it goes further in another article that I found. It says that his name literally tells you that he only wrote the book of Romans, but Paul was the original author, which means Paul was the original storyteller. He told a story to Tertius, and then Tertius wrote the story himself. He is the one who wrote the epistle. This also brings a question. Are there things that were said in the book of Romans that were actually not things that came from Paul directly, but came from Tertius on his journey or on his way to becoming a Christian or on his way while he was being a Christian, everything that he experienced? Wasn't he maybe writing about that in the letters themselves? Wasn't he maybe writing to the churches if maybe he wrote the other epistles that we're not going to talk about as you're focusing on the book of Romans? What if he also wrote those epistles and we focus on the apostle Paul, who never met Jesus, who never had an encounter with Jesus? Tertius wrote as a scribe, somebody who was listening to the story. He was writing about Paul or the things that Paul might have said. The same thing that Paul was doing, although he did not meet Jesus, at least Tertius met Paul. And he wrote about it. So that is another revelation that I just came across. And now I'm questioning myself like, what do we say about this? As Muslims who have listened to people like Ahmed Didat, as Christians themselves who did not know this, yet they had the Bible in their hands the whole time while debating many Muslims who did not know that Paul did not write the book of Romans. What are you guys saying about this? I'm just surprised. I'm baffled by this. I mean, we've listened to countless of messages. We've listened to countless of people talking about Paul being the person who wrote many of the scriptures in the New Testament, particularly the book of Romans. And now reading this, I'm like, you guys lied. You guys were wrong. You guys were totally wrong. Okay, how do we make this right? How do we make this right? Do we now go and research further? on who might have written the other epistles said to have been written by Paul. All right, I'm going to make that my mission. So from today, I'm going to make that my new mission, and I hope you guys are going to be with me throughout this journey. If you guys want to research further about this, go study your Bible, go read the last chapter of the book of Romans, and go do your own research separately. I'm telling you, you will come to the conclusion that I came upon myself that Paul might have been the storyteller, but the person who wrote the book of Romans 
אז דפנטלי, טשס.